Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. And hello from Disney's All-Star Music Resort, one of Disney's value resorts. I'm very excited to stay here because I've never stayed at any of the All-Star Resorts. I got a fantastic deal with my passholder discount. We're staying here for a staycation because tomorrow we have Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind for opening day. But before tomorrow's fun, we just checked in and I wanna give you a resort tour. Now, there's not a lot to this resort. It's very simple and small, but I'm going to give you a tour and guide you through it all so you know where to go. And then I want to give you a room tour because we got a renovated room and when this resort was closed because of the closure of the parks with COVID and everything, Disney actually came in and renovated a lot of this resort. So there's a lot to see. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. First up, we have the main parking lot. They do offer 30 minute check-in parking right here in front of me. And then you will cross the street to the main lobby and right here you can find the bus stop, which this is where you will go to get to the four Disney parks, Disney Springs and the Disney water parks, as we see a Disney bus go by now. And then right here is the main lobby. Also, if you use Mirrors Connect, right here is where you will be dropped off. Here's another look at all of the bus stops here. I do wanna point out, in the morning, be prepared because the lines will be crazy long just because this is a value resort and most of the time the buses will go to each of the all-star hotels which is all-star music sports and movies so just be prepared because i've seen these lines get very crazy they do offer luggage carts if you need them another thing that i would like to point out if you plan on renting a ecv you can actually book through scooter bug I just say this because I always see these scooter bucks all around, but if you book online, you will basically tell them where you are staying at and they will drop off your ECV right here. And then when you check out, you'll bring it here and they'll take care of it for you. So that is something to keep in mind. As soon as you get dropped off, you will walk down the red carpet into the main lobby here. It's not that busy right now, but this is where you will first come in, check in, check out. Hello. Hello. <laughs> the cast members are awesome here. If you have any questions, this is where you will come. I don't know what was on this side, but it's closed right now. I love the art design on the wall. You have Guitar Hero, a few benches to sit. You can leave the kids here while mom and dad check in. There's also a TV. Look at Mickey rocking out. Jeez Louise, Mickey. Ooh, what's this? Artie Arch is what they are calling this with the Mickey ears and headphones. This would be a fun photo opportunity here. Oh, it's from the Disney Channel. Okay, just a quick recap. This is the main lobby. And then over here, you can find more restrooms. You can find telephones, an ATM, and the mailboxes over here. If you need to send out any letters while you're here on vacation. Again, you have the main lobby, and then if you go towards your left, this is where you can find the bus transportation. It's just a little cheat. That way you don't have to walk around. You just walk out and the bus stops are just right here. And then you can also find the gift shop here with all of the classic Disney merchandise. Let's go in and have a quick look. Ooh, check this out. You can find the new exclusive All-Star Music merchandise here. You have a water bottle, a magnet, a pen. Look at that. Christmas ornaments. I mean, for the most part, it's just your average standard Disney gift shop. You can find a little bit of everything. You can find kids laying on the floor, <laughs> plushes some Doctor Strange merchandise. Of course, if you are staying at any Disney resort, I highly suggest that you pick up a resort refillable mug through your visit. Here's the price, not too bad. And then over here, you can find your beverages. They also have some wine, milk, Lunchables, sodas, more beer, more wine, chips, Pretty much everything you may need 
all the Disney candy and treats. Then over here, cereal, Oreos, almond milk, crackers, and Ziploc bags. And then if you have any kind of emergency or if you just forget anything, they have you covered with medicine, deodorant, all that fun stuff, batteries, diapers, bug spray. Here's another side door to get you out to the bus stops. They have strollers for sale for $40 if you need one. They also have a few Disney Parks lounge fly backpacks here. I know this Stitch one is new. I haven't seen this inside out one though. And then this one would be perfect for Memorial Day, which is about to happen in the 4th of July. They do have a little of the 50th anniversary merchandise here. There's the Mickey hand soap dispenser. Everybody has been wanting one of these. Okay, you have Maestro Mickey's, which is the gift shop here. We just left. Look at this all-star music hall of fame here. Queen. That's cool. And then look up, you have some of the very famous artists up here. Bob Marley. Is that Lady Gaga? Elvis, Taylor Swift, Michael Jackson, The Beatles, Jay-Z, and then Adele is up there. Can you guys see? There she is. And then if you continue walking, again, the gift shop was towards the right, and the main lobby is towards the left. You can find the food court, which we will go check out in just a minute. There's an artist drawing right outside of the food court. You can find a few press penny machines here, collectibles. There's also a ID tag engraving station. There's a fair rod kiosk, which is nice to have at all of the Disney resorts and parks. And then I want to quickly check out the arcade here. This arcade is massive. There's a lot to do in here. There's also a massage chair for the parents while the kiddos run around. This ATV game looks really fun. Ooh, they have an old school Star Wars game here. This is definitely one of the biggest arcades I've seen at any Disney resort. I mean, it never ends. It also looks like they have the world's largest Pac-Man game here. Look at that. Air hockey and a Marvel Adventure Lab. Looks like you can have your photo taken with some of your favorite Avengers. Here's the recharge station to reload your card. There's the price and the points that you will get. And the arcade is open daily from 8 a.m. to 11 o'clock p.m. Okay, let's head inside Intermission, the food court. They offer specialty coffee. Looks like I'm starting with dessert first. Cookies, brownies. They have frozen Jack and Cokes or rum and Cokes. That's nice to know. More beverages, some fruit. Looks like a few ice cream machines back there. Ooh, black and white cupcake, a 50th anniversary cupcake. Looks like a 50th anniversary dome cake, cookies and cream. Here's some pastries. They have a anniversary macaron up there, Rice Krispie treats, muffins, they have popcorn, they have pop tarts, chips, more fruit, more cookies. Looks like over here you can get pizza, hamburgers, looks like chicken strips, they have a few kid meals over there, they have an impossible burger, then over this way you can find pastas salads, macaroni and cheese, braised beef, sesame chicken stir fry, Walt's chili cheese, all beef foot long hot dog, shrimp and grits. They have a Greek plant-based tuna salad. They have some wine. Here's some grab and go items. They have all of the 50th anniversary Coca-Cola bottles, Powerade, Monster energy drinks, teas. More beer and wine, my goodness, they have a lot here. Water, juices, milk. Looks like they have a few sandwiches, cheese, pickles, yogurt, 
fruit cups, overnight oats, parfaits. What's this? A ham and cheese sandwich. They have hummus and veggies, a Greek salad, Greek salad with shrimp, Greek salad with chicken. They have Caesar salad with chicken and shrimp or just regular Caesar salad. They have plenty of the anniversary Mickey premium ice cream bars, Mickey premium ice cream sandwiches. Looks like a strawberry fruit bar down there. Here's the prices. Here's some stuff for the kiddos. Looks like they have a kid's turkey sandwich. They have an Uncrustable, apple slices, yogurt, little milks and waters. I like this piece of artwork here inside of the food court. They offer a pizza pickup window. If you order an entire pizza, utensils, they have a toaster, a microwave if you decide to buy a bag of popcorn. Then over here you have all of your beverages, coffee, sodas, teas. And again, if you decide to purchase the resort refillable mug, you can get unlimited drinks here. This food court is really nice. I really like what Disney did with this place. It really needed a renovation and they did fantastic work in here. It's a lot of seats in here, a lot of room. Also, if you would rather drink inside and not outside, the poolside bar has an area inside of the food court right next to the main lobby you can find a poolside bar called singing and spirits you can find all of your favorite adult beverages here's a quick look at the menu here prices seem pretty average they have a few frozen options let's just say if you're hanging out by the pool and if you get a little hungry you have a little access way over to the food court so you don't have to go through the lobby area which is right here towards the right of the poolside bar and here we are inside of the food court right next to the poolside bar look at these very comfortable looking chairs here the main lobby is right here you have the poolside bar the main pool and right here you can find the fire pit area where they offer s'mores nightly. Look at this giant chessboard. Here's a brief overview of the entire resort. And this resort is pretty much exactly the same as all-star movies, sports, and of course music. And it's very similar to Pop Century. They have a few showers spread out. There's a little splash pad area right here. Try not to show too much because there are a lot of kids and people at the pool right now. You can find a ping pong table and a pool table right here. So many lounge chairs. There's also a few tables with an umbrella. And here's the main pool. It's very big. There's the three caballeros right there in the middle. This is awesome. It's so hot, I just want to hop in right now. I'm seeing all kinds of games for the kiddos all over the place. There's another one. They're also bumping some music right now. There's some towels ready to go. They do offer life jackets if you need them. And then you can find some more restrooms right here. Here's another angle of the main pool here. Look how big this pool is. I also like how they have these little areas throughout the resort here where you can kind of just come and chill. If you need to talk on the phone, you have this nice fountain to look at. And it's quiet over here not really buy anything in between the buildings. I really do like the area that we are staying at. We are staying in building eight in the Broadway section. And look at this. We have the pool right there, steps away from our room. Here's the Jazz Inn section, which is building nine right next to ours. I like the theming here. Our room is just right up here on the second level. Check it out. It's very quiet right now. I'm sure a lot of people are still at the parks. It's about 5 p.m. right now. It's really nice. It's also a beautiful day outside. Look at the great theming with the different Broadway posters, Mary Poppins, Frozen, The Lion King, Aladdin, and then same thing over here. I just want to point out one more time how much I appreciate our location because like I said, our room is right there. Over this way is the bus station to take you over to the 
Disney parks, Disney water parks, and Disney Springs. And then, like I said, you have the pool right here, and also laundry is right there. The pool hours are from 10 a.m. to 11 o'clock p.m. It's a very nice pool. It's the piano pool. You guys see the piano keyboard right there. Plenty of lounge chairs, towels. It's a pretty good sized pool. You have a lifeguard on duty, life vest. Looks like there's a few games over there. Right by the pool, here is the laundry facility with the restrooms. Just right here. Let's go inside real quick. Oh yes, the AC feels great in here. Looks like you're gonna pay $3 to use the washer and another $3 to use the dryer. There are plenty of units in here. You have a table. You have a few vending machines here. This one, if you need any laundry detergent, you can also use your debit and credit cards to pay to use the laundry machines. This is a fun photo opportunity with the Little Mermaid and Sebastian and Flounder. Yeah, this pool is pretty cool. Lots of space. You have plenty of towels, and then before you leave, this is where you will return them. Looks like they offer activities poolside here. They have movie under the stars. Looks like daily at nine o'clock p.m. Over here, you can find a campfire, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. every day, weather permitting. And a few other daily activities here. If you guys want to pause the screen and have a closer look here. So not that far away, our building is just right over here. You have that other pool that I just showed you right here. You walk a little bit and you are now approaching the main pool area. We can actually see All-Star Sports right there. And then All-Star Movies is further down in this direction. So we're right in the middle. And that's pretty much the entire resort. I told you guys, there's not a lot to this place. It's very simple and small, but it's still nice. It's very affordable. I only paid $130 to stay here for one night. So not that bad at all. You still get the Disney benefits and perks and the Disney touch by staying here. So far, I really like this place. And here we are inside of our standard room here at Disney's All-Star Music Resort. It's very nice and cozy in here. This is a remodeled room, so it has been completely redone recently. We have a queen-size bed with plenty of pillows. You do have room down here to put your luggage suitcases and then i really like on both sides of the bed you have two outlets and two usb ports some storage i love this disney artwork with the lights up top with minnie mickey and donald one thing that i do like about the newer remodeled rooms are right next to your main bed you have a second bed can you guys guess where the second bed is it's right here. You have your table and chairs, and then you just pull this down and it will turn into a second bed, which I will show you in just a minute. On the other side of the bed, you can find two more outlets and two more USB ports. You have your telephone, more storage, and then even on this side, because another bed will pull down, you have two more outlets and two more USBs plus more storage. I mean, how nice is that? Plenty of room, plenty of space. And then you have your front door right here. You have a window. Look at this nice mini refrigerator. It's see-through. We already have a few drinks in there. You have a coffee maker here, an ice bucket. Don't mind our voodoo donuts. From earlier, we've been at Universal all day. That's our treat for later. You have another light, a really nice sized TV here. Then you have your dresser with plenty of space. I mean, look at that. More USB ports and outlets. Down here, you can find your safe and Bible, more storage. This room has a joining room. You can find hooks for wet clothes or masks or jackets which is nice. Then here's your restroom 
and then you have a sliding door for privacy. I am now heading to the restroom. It is split, which is nice. And then over here you can find your closet. It is pretty small, but it will do for the night. You have hangers. Over here you have your ironing board, iron, hair dryer, your sink, tissue paper, towels, soap. I like this mirror with the light around it. There's me. Hey guys. Over here you can find another door for more privacy. You have your toilet and then your bathtub. It's pretty standard. Nice deep tub. Here's your shower head. You can also find your line to hang up any wet clothes that you may have, which is a nice touch. And then of course you can find your Disney Resorts H2O Plus soap, shampoo, and conditioner. I do like the amount of towels that they left. There's plenty. The last few stays we've had, we've only had like two towels, so we have plenty. And for the most part, that's the entire room. It's very basic, standard, and simple, but sometimes that's all you need. And I'm a fan of this room. I mean, it's nice. I just like the remodel and the direction Disney went with the value rooms but let me show you how you can find your second bed because i know some people <laughs> they can't find where the second bed is so all you do we did move both chairs and you just grab these handles and you pull down there's our table there's our second bed look at that and the light came on oh this is nice this is a really nice murphy bed i love the design up here with Huey, Dewey, and Louie. All right, a few hours later, I went back up to the room. We hung out for a little bit. I got Bianca with me now, and we are heading to the bus stop, and we are meeting our friends, Adrian and Coda, from Theme Park Express, and then we are taking the bus over to Disney Springs for a fun night. We're gonna do some bar hopping, find some dinner, hopefully stop by Gideon's this time. This is something we've been always trying to do. Get over to Gideon's, try the peanut butter cold brew, and maybe a few cookies. Who knows? The night is young. Oh, salt and straw, Bianca said. Yeah, we have a lot to do. Oh, it smells like summer. They are doing s'mores here at the fire pit. We just made it here to the bus stop. We are waiting for the bus to take us over to Disney Springs. I really appreciate the fact that Disney will put up these monitors here to let us know when the next bus will be here. 7.28. It's uh, pretty dang packed in here. We're jam packed in here. Well, uh, that was a interesting ride, but we made it. We're here. The Stanley Cup is in town. Can we touch it? I don't watch hockey at all, so I don't really know what's going on. Look at this view. Disney Springs is something else, especially when the sun goes down for the day. We ended up at the Edison. We got a few drinks. Also, there's Adrian, Nikoda. We're chilling. How's it going? It's good to see you again, man. It's good to see you too, brother. I got the Edison and it's delicious. We got a few appetizers. We got the electric fries. And then we also got the DB clothesline candy bacon, which I do recommend. Look how thick and juicy that bacon is. And he's not talking about me. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> we have some live music happening right now. Disney Springs after dark. This place was a lot of fun. I recommend. Great food, great service and great drinks. Next up, we are at the Four Rivers Cantina food truck here. We ordered some tacos just because we did not get enough to eat at the Edison. We have fireworks off in the distance. What is that? I think that's Happily Ever After. Ooh, what did we get, babe? We got birria tacos. Never had these, but they look amazing. There's a mouse, Mickey Mouse. It's Mickey Mouse. Oh, mind you, we're we're still at Disney Springs here, living his best life. Next up, let's hop in line for Salt and Straw. The 
best ice cream I've ever had. Here's the new flavors for this month. Pistachio rose water with strawberry mochi, hibiscus and coconut sherbet. It's vegan. Okay. And here's all the classic flavors they have. Oh no. Okay, they still have it. I'm definitely going to get the chocolate gooey brownie. That was my favorite. I got another split scoop. I got the cinnamon sticker doodle and the ooey gooey brownie. Oh my goodness, salt and straw, that ice cream. Like I said, the very first time I tried salt and straw, that is the best ice cream I have ever, 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 ever had. The ooey gooey brownie is amazing. And then you add the cinnamon sticker doodle, Woo, your life will change, I promise. We made a quick stop inside the World of Disney before we leave. Look at these new suitcases. I like the design of this a lot. It is $199. We have brand new ears from the Mickey Mouse, the main attraction collection. It's the teacups. There's a lot going on with these ears. They are super adorable. I love the color. These are $34.99. And then we have a new pin. I was hoping to find a new Guardians of the Galaxy shirt for tomorrow to ride Cosmic Rewind, but I'm not seeing anything. And I've been hearing a few rumors that the Treasures of Xandar store, which is the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind gift shop, may not be open tomorrow. I do really like this Mickey Mouse Nike polo for $70. All right, we are now leaving Disney Springs. It's a little after 11 p.m. I honestly cannot remember the last time I've been at Disney Springs this late. It was actually pretty fun, great company, but we're gonna wait for the bus, hop back on the bus and head back to the resort to get some rest because tomorrow, we have a big, exciting day. Gate number 19, and this is the current line to get back to our resort. My oh my, I told you guys, the buses can get a little backed up if you are staying at any all-star resort. That was uh, a little frustrating. We waited for about 20 minutes and no bus came and the line just got longer. So we sucked it up and we bought a lift. So now we have to walk over to the rainforest to hop on our lift. I really wish I would have just drove my own car, but then I couldn't really enjoy myself tonight, but it is what it is. So just be prepared. We have finally made it back to the room. What a night that was. A little annoying, a little frustrating, but it is what it is. We still had a really fun time. It's a little after midnight, so we have to get to bed because I have to wake up around 6.55 a.m. to try to get either a virtual line, which is a boarding group, or a lightning lane for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind because tomorrow is the official opening day, May 27th, 2022. So I'm off to bed. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I don't know about you, but I could sit here and listen to resort TV all day long. It makes me very happy. Well, good morning. We actually slept really well. The bed was very comfortable. The room was great. I think my only complaint would be the bus transportation from last night. And I guess you can say like, of course, we were tired. We were ready to go to bed. So that could have added a lot of stress on us just like everybody else that was in that line but i don't understand why disney doesn't have one bus to go to each different all-star resort and it's been that way for years it's just not recently because i would say it's like a staffing shortage or something like that but it's always been like this for a long time ever since i can remember so that's my only complaint um noise level was very minimal i didn't really hear that much noise besides like this morning once everybody got up and was ready to get out to the park and that was okay because we were ready to get up i did successfully make a lightning lane for cosmic rewind so we are very excited about that all the boarding groups and the virtual um lightning lane was gone within 
maybe two minutes, under two minutes. It was fast. We're going to head to the food court, have some breakfast, and then we are heading over to Epcot. I will say, I don't know if I will stay here again. I mean, the room was great. The amenities were great. But there was a lot of pros and cons to staying at All Star, as I'm sure many of you guys know. I do like staying here more than Pop Century. I've stayed at Pop Century three times and I've had a bad experience every time I've stayed at Pop Century. So I would stay here instead of Pop Century. I still have not stayed at Art of Animation, but overall the value was great. The room was nice. The amenities were great. It was really convenient being right by the pool and the bus stop and then maybe under three minutes to get over to the food court in the main lobby. It was a great stay. I hope this helped you guys plan your next Disney vacation here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up because it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you all and YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. I am feeling lonely in a room and it's time to end the ride. They need to slowly over those gonna lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside.